Veterans return home from combat. Sometimes they're left with more than memories. That can be a physical injury or a mental scar that we can't see but won't go away. <laughs> but what happens when a veteran feels like there's no help left? 22 veterans a day commit suicide, but inside a small room in Harrison County, they're taking the first steps to reduce that number. It definitely is a better life. We're trained in the military to suck it up and drive on, and it's a good concept in battle. But not always when it comes to readjusting from combat to the comforts of home. 30 days, and that's a very short amount of time to get the rest of your life back. The humming of the TMS machines inside the Harrison County Sheriff's Office is a welcome noise to area veterans. And what they're doing is kind of pressing control, alt, delete in, in the brain, and we're rebooting it. We're slowing the neurons down, or we're speeding them up so that the, both sides of the brain work at their optimal level. It's called transcranial magnetic stimulation, and it's helping veterans with PTSD, brain injuries, and much more. I felt a tingle go down my hands. And I've never been able to close my hands for years and years. And right then I, could, I closed a complete fist without any problem. I am proud of what I did. Uh, I did what I thought I should do at the time. And, uh, you know, I just, just have to live with the aftermath. Roy Stewart is a Vietnam veteran. He says he struggled mentally for years, especially after his wife died. His stepson, also a veteran, sustained a head injury during his service. It's definitely worth it because I feel better and my stepson's doing better. Spend time with the group that frequents this room and they'll tell you how much TMS changed their lives. And it's not just for veterans. The treatment is FDA approved for headaches and anxiety. This has made me more at ease. Uh, it's made me more comfortable. Dirk Harkins sets up these machines five days a week. He worked so hard to help others because he knows how TMS can change a life. I found myself in a high-speed chase from the local law enforcement agencies, and I pulled over and tried to suicide by cop at that time. Harkin served in the Army, was injured, returned home, and was never the same. But that night in jail, he called his friend, Ohio State Senator Frank Hoagland, who got him into TMS treatments in Texas. It just started giving me clarity. It gave me... Uh, mental focus and energy and uh, you know started giving my life back. He now channels that energy into getting more TMS treatments to veterans in the Buckeye State. Working with Senator Hoagland and local sheriff's departments, they want to make sure it's available to anyone, anywhere who needs it. It's going to start right here in the High Valley and we're just going to spread out across the state. If you're a veteran or first responder and would like to learn more about TMS and what it does, you can call Dirk Harkins at the number on your screen, and you will also find much more information at WTRF.com.